How's it going everybody? This is Steve, aka Steve Ninja, and welcome to my channel. So this is my fourth and final Criterion haul for the month of July 2022 from Barnes & Noble. And uh, actually the, the, the first two movies I have are both uh, brand new, and uh, they're actually both blind buys. And uh, actually the, the third one is actually used, so they bought it at the exchange, you know, but I'll explain that further. But uh, So this first one is one I've seen a lot, a lot of people on YouTube uh, recommend, and I, I thought so many people like it so much. I think it's like $24.99 at even 50% off. It's that price, but it, uh, the first movie is The Night of the Hunter. This is a release in 1955, spine number 541, and it's uh, directed by Charles Lawton. Runs at 93 minutes, and starring uh, Rob, Robert Mitchum and Shelley Winters. You know, so I thought those are, those are two pretty good actors. Uh, that, you know, Shelley Winters. Uh, I remember seeing her on the Poseidon Adventure. You know, with 1972. That's, I think it's the only thing, well, that and also uh, Lolita. I think it's the only two movies I've ever seen her in, the, the you know, Stanley Kubrick movie. But, uh, you know, I'm really excited to, to check this out. You know, just so many people say this is a great movie. Yeah, even from 1955 in black and white, it's a, it's a, something I'm really excited to watch. I, I'm, I've gotten through most of my criterions for the month of July. Surprisingly, I think I have uh, two others at home you know, that were brand new that I uh, haven't watched yet, but I've gotten through, I, I think I bought like, I think 19 titles this month. <laughs> so a lot of, I think maybe two or three were used, but most of them, uh, all the rest were all bought at Barnes & Noble. So, you know, I, I've really tried to support Barnes & Noble this month. Usually I only buy used stuff if, uh, you know, it's a good price or something I, it's on my wish list. I usually do that. Usually at the exchange, I usually have, you know, like, uh, I'll have like a, a store credit kind of thing, and, I, and so it makes sense that when I see they're used uh, Criterion's, I think well, if it's one on my list, I think I, you know, I've got to buy it, you know. So, but uh, so number two here, this is another one that I've uh, I've seen a lot of people recommend, and the, the movie is Deep Cover. This is a it released 1992, spine number 1086, and it's uh, runs on 107 minutes, uh, directed by Bill Duke. I think he was in Predator years, years ago, <laughs> one of the, the you know, one of the, the characters uh, in the in Predator, and it's uh, starring a. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne and Jeff Goldblum. So I thought, with that kind of cast, you know, this is this is Lawrence Fishburne on the cover. With that with that kind of cast, I thought, how can I go wrong with this? You know, so far all the I think most of the blind buys I've purchased have uh, have not disappointed me. And usually I, I don't do a lot of blind buys unless I let a, unless I get a lot of recommendations and I really like the cast and the director, you know, all that kind of stuff. I, I factor in there and and, and uh, really none of them I really regret buying so so far, which is which I really love because I. I, I, I've explained before that I've I've had a criterion before that I got rid of. It was a Life of Brian from Monty Python, and, I, and for like four or five years that that bothered me that I got rid of it. So if I were to do a blind buy and I bought a movie that I didn't like, I would you know I wouldn't I'd have a hard time getting rid of it, and so I would just sit there. So so far I, I haven't regretted what I purchased. So, but I um, can't wait to watch this too. And the, the third and final movie is one that, I, that this is actually one that I, I upgraded from DVD. And this is the one I bought at the exchange used. And it, it was in great condition. It played perfectly. But and it's probably my sixth favorite movie from this director. <laughs> but the movie is The Life Aquatic uh, with uh, Steve Zizou. And uh, yeah, I love the cast in this. You know, it's uh, released in 2004. Spine number 300 runs at 118 minutes, which I think is maybe slightly too long. I think for this this movie for a comedy, it probably would have been nice if it would have been a little bit shorter. But nonetheless, uh, the cast is just uh, excellent in this movie, and it, you know it, uh, it's uh, directed by Wes Anderson. You know he gets a lot of uh, A-list actors that, that love his movies, love his style, love his his comedy, and um, I I love the you know Bill Murray's in this again. I, I think. Um, He's been in all of, all of Wes Anderson's movies except for Bottle Rocket, and I think he's uh, just recently was uh, unfortunately not going to be in the, the newest uh, Wes Anderson movie. I think he's because of COVID and probably other factors too that they that people aren't really mentioning. But you know it, it, that's disappointing that I won't see him in a Wes Anderson movie. But even though he really wasn't in the, he wasn't in the Darjeeling Limited very very much, very a uh, small cameo cameo in that movie. But but uh, yeah, Owen Wilson, uh, Kate Blanchett, Angelica Houston. Uh, you know, it's, it's got a Willem Dafoe, Jeff Goldblum. It has a Michael Gamden, whom, uh, if, if you know Harry Potter, he, he was Dumbledore number two, and that after he, he replaced Richard Harris in the after the I think of the first two uh, Harry Potter movies with Richard Harris, and then 
and then uh, Michael Gambon uh, took over. So, you know, or was it Gam Gambon, I believe, <laughs> pronounced I pronounced his name correctly. But um, so this movie, uh, I think it's an ambitious movie. Uh, I just I think it's maybe just slightly too long. And I, I like I said, it's like 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 my sixth favorite movie. But I think the, the five movies I have ahead of it are like are great movies. Are really really great Wes Anderson movies. So it's I think six is. Sixth place is uh, pretty fair for this. I've got a uh, ranking video of Wes Anderson that I can include with this at the end uh, the end of this video. So, you know, I, I just thought, well, I wanted to upgrade it from DVD, and uh, I had it on you know Criterion DVD before. I, I I don't know if it's ever been released on any other type of DVD. I think it's always been Criterion, but um, so I was happy to do that. I think I still have nine. Uh, Criterion DVDs and like like three of them I know are, have never been released on Blu-ray at all. So, will I will I upgrade all of them? I don't know. Uh, but so I'm excited about this. I think uh, next month I'm gonna do a uh, in August I'm gonna do like a uh, a video where I'll show all my Criterions. So, so I look look forward to that. Uh, if anybody likes Criterion, uh, some great titles in there. Uh, so really excited. But please uh, put a like on this video. We'll really appreciate that. I really love the response I've gotten from people this month, the the people that have subscribed to my channel and get all the all the views that I've had and, and all the likes. It's been great. Uh, I, I just I love that. It's I've never had videos. Well, I've had some older videos that that, that finally got up around 2,000 views, but um, this this all happened in one month. You know, just getting all these views and all these positive comments from people. You know, please leave a comment if you if you have any of these movies. Uh, where would you rank uh, Live Aquatic and, and Wes Anderson's uh, filmography? I, 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 I can think of five that I, that I love that are that are ahead of it, but um, you know this this movie kind of grew on me more than I, I've seen it probably maybe four or five times. It's like maybe the fifth time I've seen it, and then I watched the commentary as well, which I, I think is just Noah Baumbach and Wes Anderson just talking in a restaurant. And they're really not specifically talking about scenes in the movie, but they're just kind of talking about their experience and how they wrote it, that kind of thing. So. But uh, uh, please, uh, please uh, have a good day and uh, talk to you later. Bye.